Hi everyone, welcome to This Work World, my name's Joe, and in this video I'm going to share with you some of my recommendations for food and drink in the Netherlands. They've got loads of snack-like foods which are great for eating on long go and some pretty nice sweet desserts as well. They're available on the high streets but also the Dutch have some amazing little street markets dotted around the place, especially the weekends. These street markets are usually located in town, especially around Amsterdam, you'll find lots of like little random squares where they just pop up a little farmer's market. If you can't find any of these markets close to where you're staying at the moment, go to the local tourist office and just ask them to point out any farmer markets or street food markets. So what's great about these recommendations is that they're both cheap and tasty. A great combination, right? Drool waffles. So imagine some pancakes which is grilled and squished together with caramel in the middle. That's essentially what a strew waffle is. You can buy them from the shops. What I recommend you do is to buy them from the streets nice and fresh and still warm with the caramel just oozing out you've got to be extra careful when you buy from the streets as the caramel really does go everywhere pro tip for you if you get yourself the strew waffles from the shops what you can do is put them on top of a, a mug of tea or coffee and let the heat slightly melt the caramel so you get a similar type of thing from a fresh strew waffle hiring so imagine a Dutch having their own version of sushi and that's essentially what is hiring it's basically raw fish which is gutted put into salt water for I think three or five days. It's very tasty, really, really fishy. So if you're not a big fan of fish, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But for me, absolutely gorgeous. It's usually served with some chopped onions and a small little Dutch flag. Chocomel. One of my Dutch friends recommended this and I was really, really puzzled when I first heard about it. But apparently they're really big on chocomel, which is essentially chocolate milk. There's just something about the actual chocomel they serve in the Netherlands, which is extra tasty. I do think there's some extra special, like, you know, stuff inside. Actually, not really. It's just really, really bloody tasty. Kibling. Apparently a classic Dutch favourite that both kids to adults absolutely love. And they're fried, battered fish snack balls. They're usually served with a mayo-based sauce, like uh, garlic tartar. Rock Verst. So like most of Europe, the Dutch have their own version of the classic sausage. It's generally smoked pork sausage with spices and salt. And well, is it really that special? Well, not really, but it's actually quite tasty. Fast food vending machines. I love these things. It's basically like a coin operated vending machine where you put a little coin in, you open the compartment and you have yourself a nice little snack. The vending machines kind of remind me of the ones in Japan and they usually have burgers, croquets and chips. They're a great little stopping place if you've had one too many tight Heineken's or if you're getting the munchies from um, <coughs> something else. Bitter ballon. So bitter ballons are little mini ball croquettes. There's usually lots of different types and served in this as a selection. They're great with dipping sauces as well. Surinamese food. So one of my most interesting discoveries was the Suriname and the Surinamese food um, because of the influences from both Africa, Asia and Europe. Suriname is actually a country north of Brazil. It was an old Dutch colony until the 1970s and there's a bit of a large migration to the Netherlands and they brought along with them their food and culture. The foods include curries, stir-fry noodles, various stewed meat dishes, desserts which are coconut based and fritters amongst loads of other stuff. In fact, you probably could do a whole video just on Surinamese food because of the very diff different types of dishes they have. Orangiboom beer. So I had to include at least one beer and apparently this was voted one of the number one draft beers in the whole world in some kind of industry food competition. I just wish they actually had a brewery in Amsterdam, it would definitely beat Heineken. And also I kind of think that Orangeboom sounds like a pretty damn cool name. And that's been my recommendations for my food and drink in the Netherlands. If you found this video useful then hit the like button and if you have any other recommendations for food I should try or anybody else you should definitely add it to comments i love to hear from you guys and i'll see you at the next video bye